Hello and welcome to World Skills Spotlight Talks. I am Alex and I am here to tell you about NWSLC and the engineering opportunities that are available to you. North Warwickshire and South Leicestershire College, also known as NWSLC, supports around 12,000 students in full-time and part-time study, apprenticeships, higher education, professional courses and distance learning. We have six campuses based in Nuneaton, South Wigston, Hinkley, Harrowbrook, Myra Technology Institute and our Digital Skills Academy. We offer a range of engineering courses and apprenticeships and work with some big brands including Toyota and Young Heimrich. Every year over 90% of our students leave us to progress onto higher education or into employment. The college has links to some interesting engineering businesses such as MP Engineering which produces parts for Red Bull F1 cars. Our engineering courses cover the basics of engineering principles all the way through specialist subjects including automotive engineering and computer aided design. Studying an engineering course with us means that you will get the knowledge, skills and support you need to progress in your studies. You will also have the confidence to move on to higher education, apprenticeships and a successful career. Our engineering apprenticeships will develop the skills and knowledge you need to become an effective employee within the engineering sector. As an apprentice, you will learn industry specific skills within the workplace. This is delivered through specialist training and assessments by your employer and assessor. Within engineering, there are a range of jobs available, including aerospace and robotics, electronics and technology, and civil engineering. Whether you want to be office-based, in the workshop or on site, this is an exciting industry with impressive earning potential. We have a dedicated apprenticeship team who can help you find the right apprenticeship for you. In today's Spotlight Talk, you will learn all about engineering at NWSLC, gain an insight into an engineering apprenticeship and get to see our MTI campus. But first, we're going to learn about studying full-time engineering courses at NWSLC. I'd like to think that it get students to go for an apprenticeship and full-time work, and then progression from there, going into companies, working up the ladder. Students don't feel pressured into being academic. They can actually work and progress at their own pace. And because industries out there over the last 30, 40 years have changed, particularly in engineering, we've got to change. And to do that, students have also got to be seen to be changing, as I say, because they're not all academic. A lot of skills out there, uh, whilst I've been in teaching, uh, is visually uh, responsive to how they learn. The students we have in engineering, hopefully, can actually have a, a big impact in the future. We give them a, a structured sessions within the college, particularly within engineering. Uh, we've certainly changed uh, of how we'd like to do things more of a practical basis rather than a theoretical one. I chose BTEC um, Engineering at NWSLC because not many colleges offers engineering, so it gives me the, the course that I wanted with like the location like where I live, close by. The college support me on my course by providing me with textbooks, specific teachings, and when I struggle, I ask the lecturer, he, he provides me with, with um, the information that I need to help me along with my assignments. Doing a uh, work experience with Longfish Architect in Nottingham, it helped me uh, like develop further ideas in the type of like architecture and um, industry there are and help me understood like the way that it, um, things actually work. So it helped me in terms of deciding whether I want to go into tech architecture or whether I want to study for the product design. Um, my next step after college is to go into, um, to go into university to study um, further product design and get more experience in the um, engineering industries, like the type of engineering that I want to do and where I want to go with it. I started my story at NWSLC. Now you have heard more about our full-time courses in engineering, we are going to look at how it is like to study an engineering apprenticeship within welding and fabrication at JBMPS Limited. My name is Julian Malin. 
I'm the company director of JBMPS Limited. My name is James Mann, I'm the general manager of JBMPS Limited. So the company was founded in 1996 by my father, Julian Malin. He started off in one man in his van, and over the last 25 years, he's grown the business from strength to strength, starting off with road service machinery, going out to site to service, to then having our fabrication center, our engineering center, and now we have our R&D section as well. And that's how we've grown the business to where we are today. The main skills we require in our business is the welding and fabrication, so the skills of doing all types of welding from uh, aluminium, stainless steel, mild steel and uh, all types of welding. So we do TIG welding, MIG welding, arc welding and gas welding. Like every other business, you know, new blood into the business is just key to keep us going. We really wanted an apprentice, someone who would come in full of beans, full of energy, wanted to come and learn what to do, just like any other business. Getting new people in is key to the success and we strongly believe in apprenticeship programmes. My name is Suzanne Greatwood. I'm from Burbage, Hinkley in Leicestershire. I started doing engineering as an apprenticeship because how my dad got around doing the job, he'd come home sometimes, explain how the day's gone, and every day it seems to be a different kind of work. It's just something that a lad normally thinks it's a boy job and as I thought it was interesting, I thought just go for it and show people that it's not just a man's job and females can do it as well. As soon as I walked in the doors, I just felt welcome. Suzanne's been an absolute godsend to be honest with you. She's been a very fast learner. She's been able to pick up a lot of things which have taken a lot of people normally months if not years to learn. We've given her a few projects to sort of test her metal quite literally as you've seen some of her products actually around the factory floor and yeah she's been really helpful for all of us. The benefits of doing an apprenticeship for engineering as well is because you earn money whilst you do something you love. Designing and making your own experiment and as the people around you are doing theirs they'll come over and like look at it and be like, oh, I've not done that before, and like, oh, are you having fun whilst always doing it? And because it's something new and no one's done it, I feel really privileged to be the first person to. I'm doing my college assessments on Mondays, so it's only one day a week. From Tuesday to Friday, I work in the workplace, and how I get around doing the work is if we get it all done in college, it's all done then, but as soon as I get home and if I know I've got work to do, I'll do it that night so then I can focus on the job part of it the rest of the week. I'd say to anyone considering an apprenticeship, no matter what environment it is, if you're female or male, if it's what you enjoy do, like doing, then just go for it, no matter what anyone says, because at the end of the day, it's, your, it's going to be your career. One thing that makes our college stand out is our MTI campus, which delivers some of NWSLC's automotive engineering offer. This campus provides a bespoke curriculum aimed at satisfying an ever-increasing need for specialist skills in the UK automotive engineering sector. The MTI campus has a particular focus on emerging technologies, such as electrification and driverless cars cultivating these skills necessary to operate at the cutting edge of technology. Here is a quick video to show you around the campus. I started my story at NWSLC. We are now going to be joined by Paul Dancer. Paul is the Learning Skills Manager for Engineering Apprenticeships at NWSLC and is joining us today for a quick Q&A.
can you give us an overview about the engineering provision at NWSLC? So engineering is accessible over our three campuses um, through North Warwickshire and South Leicestershire College. So the campuses are situated in South Leicester, which is Wigston, and we have Nuneaton, and we also have the MTI facility, which is based just off the A5 in Nuneaton at the Myra Technology Institute. So we run apprenticeships from all campuses. At the MTI, it's more automotive engineering we try to push. Um, we also do the maintenance and repair side of things um, on, on vehicles um, and technical support. Um, lastly, we do product development and design as well, uh, which is about research and development. Uh, we do have full-time programmes and part-time programmes covering levels one um, all the way through to level three. Um, we do electrical installation, um, we do um, general um, engineering, which gives you an overview of each area. So in each of them areas, you're going to be covering things like mechanical manufacturing, welding, fabrication and maintenance um, and that, that, that sort of thing. What is the one thing that makes NWSLC stand out for students who are looking to study an engineering course? First of all, our staff, our engineering staff, um, they're all um, experts in their own field. They're all well educated, they're fantastic, they're approachable, they're knowledgeable, and they do like to share their knowledge um, with, with students, both apprenticeships and full-time students. Um, our equipment also um, allows us to stand aside from other people as well. Um, so at the MTI, all our resources are new. Um, so our milling machines and lathes are hybrid technology all brand spanking new. We've also got science equipment up there that we're trying to push and create a little bit more of as well. So um, engineering, um, this is how big it is. Engineering generated 23% of the UK's turnover in 2018. There's 5.7 million people um, employed within engineering and 19% uh, of the UK um, employees are in an engineering setting. So, so the sector is, is massive. It's still a growing sector as well. So we're still ex expecting around about 120,000 engineers to join us and technicians to join us with core engineering skills per year. Um, so that is a massive key as, as to why we need people in engineering. The job roles within engineering are vast. But what we can see as well, with regards to the education side of things, that of them females that do go in and progress exceptionally well through to degree, you know, so the first or upper second, there's 80% of females actually achieve in comparison with 75% males. So we need to get more females into the sector with that today. What kind of projects do students in engineering work on? Um, some of the projects that they'll be working on within company are, are just vast. It could be um, a little in-house project where they're making and creating something. It could be something that they're, uh, where they're designing something within company. You know, anything. Um, students could be on any kind of project in, on an industry placement. And there is a unit as well that we do cover um, as a full-time student, uh, which is project. Um, the main area of learning on that is understanding how to run a project. But whilst you're going through that process in college, you are able to make, create, design something. What routes can you specialise in within engineering? There is welding and fabrication, there's electronics, there's the electrical installation, there's maintenance. The new big thing is big data. Uh, so this is industry four um, that we're going into now. Um, so starting in engineering just with them core units you will be able to start and head towards specialising in, in things like that. What are the main difference between an engineering apprenticeship and a full-time course? So there are differences um, between engineering apprenticeships and full-time courses. Um, the qualifications are virtually the same. You're still going to go through the same amount of units. Um, you'll probably find that your apprenticeship will be over a longer duration. So you'll still get the same level of qualification. You'll still get the same detail of qualification. Um, you will get a certificated 
qualification um, as well. You're still able to progress into university after you finish your qualifications. Um, again, with an apprenticeship, it may take you probably a year or two years longer. But the good thing about the taking the two years longer is, and the main difference is with an apprenticeship, you have an employer, you have a contract of employment, you get the same rights and responsibilities as you do as an employee in a, in a place of work. And fantastic, you get salary as well, so you do start earning. What careers can students go into after studying engineering at NWSLC? So um, after studying in um, engineering um, and aiming for an advanced qualification there, so that's at level three. Um, so you can access, without any shadow of a doubt, um, a technician role within a company, um, a design role, so using computer aided design um, within a company. It could be that you've gone through an electrical installation route. Um, so having a level three advanced qualification gets you through the door um, within an electrical installation employer. What advice would you give to students who are looking to study engineering? There are loads and loads and loads of different engineering aspects that you could you could go. Like I say, there's in excess of 13, 40 different career paths within engineering. So my advice would be that if you've got a hobby or an interest, because you're going to be working for an awful long time, this would steer my career um, choice. So if you've got a if you've got a um, a hobby of um, making things, creating things, uh, designing things, uh, football, rugby, um, netball, any 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 hobby that you have, put that in YouTube and put the word engineering next to it as well and see what the hits come um, from that bit of research. Because without any shadow of a doubt, what you'll see and what you'll start to see on these videos is different ways in which engineering is used in everyday hobbies and interests and start doing a bit of investigation around them to see if there's an employer close to you that um, looks like um, a good career path. Because what we can do then is map that back um, to um, job roles. We can map that back to qualifications and apprenticeships um, and that'll get you started with your career. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you have enjoyed learning about engineering at NWSLC. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us using the live chat feature or visit our website at www.nwslc.ac.uk.